Hi, my name is Lena and I'm the Outreach Officer at St Hughes College, one of the largest constituent colleges of the University of Oxford. Here are some key questions that I'm usually asked by prospective applicants that this video will answer. We take around 120 undergraduates each year across 23 subjects and we accept students for most courses offered in the university. There's no other subject where you can learn literally everything about how the entire universe works. Answer questions about how we came to be, why we are. I wanted to study music because it was one of the main passions in my life. History, literature, art. What is living at St Hughes really like? The college is set in 14 acres of beautiful green space. Our gardens are not only nice to look at, but they're also usable. You can walk on the lawns all year round, and you can use the gardens as a space to relax, play games with friends, and also to study. Every undergraduate is offered a room to live in college for every year of their degree. Because students at all stages of their degrees can live in college, there is an opportunity to get to know people from different years and different subjects. We have a range of buildings on site. Some are older, some are very modern, and therefore some of the rooms have shared bathroom facilities whereas others are ensuite. In first year, the college will allocate rooms of the same standard to all incoming students. After this, the students organize their own ballot and so everyone gets to choose what type of room they would like. There is of course also the opportunity to live out in town after your first year. Because all of our accommodation is located in our island site, the facilities that the college has to offer are right on the student's doorstep. These include the Howard Piper Library, one of the largest college libraries in Oxford, and it hosts around 75,000 items and has seven reading rooms. The second library is part of the Oxford China Centre. Because it is in effect a departmental library, students can order books from other Oxford libraries to be brought there, which is very convenient. We have a dining hall where three cafeteria-style meals are served each day during the week and brunch at weekends, which offers a lot of flexibility. We also host a formal hall once a week during term time. A formal hall is a served three-course dinner, which is a bit more like a restaurant meal and is a nice occasion to get together with friends and dress up a bit if you wish. We also have a cafe which serves breakfast, lunch and delicious snacks and hot and cold drinks during the week. All of our accommodation has access to kitchen facilities, so students can cook for themselves if they wish to do so. Often students opt for a combination of eating in the dining hall, the cafe and cooking for themselves. St Hughes also has a gym on site, enough green space to play ultimate frisbee on and its sports grounds are only five minutes up the road. There are over 20 clubs and societies within St Hughes and many social occasions and celebrations are organised by the college for everyone to enjoy. There is an extensive welfare support network within the college, including myself, the college nurse and wellbeing coordinator, as well as the college counsellor, chaplain and disability coordinator. And finally, our most important asset, the college cats. They roam freely around the college grounds and buildings so students and staff can play with them or pet them. Thank you very much for watching and please get in touch with us if you have any questions.